Hello everyone! Uh, my name's Oshan and I'm here from uh, Wellbeing Merthyr and Merthyr to the Libraries uh, to pass on a story for you because I'm thinking it's getting a little bit near to bedtime and I think what is better at bedtime than a little story to share with you. You know, there might be a little bit of little extra energy left over from the day because I'm sure you've had a super amazing, exciting day with uh, mum and dad and everyone around. But I think it's time to just shake off a little bit of that excess energy, that little bit of energy left with doing the Animal Bop by two very clever people indeed. Uh, people called Jan Omerod and Lindsay Gardner. There they are. So I'm assuming that you know lots of animals. I'm sure you've got all sorts of animals that you know about in your little brain head up there. So let's see which ones are going to be in this book. But I'm only going to start once everyone is listening. So sitting properly? Are you sitting properly? Yes, and you, Mrs Jenkins. I see you there. Very good, Mrs Jenkins. <laughs> That's right. I like Mrs Jenkins, really. She's a good person. Thank you, Mrs Jenkins. But yes, everybody listening? Yeah? Can I get, can I see your listening ears? There it is. You've got it. <laughs> All right. Let's do the animal bop then, my friends. So we start off here with a little mouse who says, if you like to dance and you sometimes sing, why don't you do the animal thing? Can you see the mouse there? I think the mouse is already doing their animal thing. Yeah? Give it a go. Can you... I know. How about we just warm up with a little bit of animal dancing, yeah? So I think... Yeah, she seems to be doing finger in the air, finger to the ground. Finger in the air, finger to the ground. Shall we try that together? After three. Yeah? Okay, let's give it a go. After three. One, two, three. A finger in the air, a finger to the ground. A finger in the air, a finger to the ground. Finger in the air, finger to the ground. <laughs> oh, that's it. I think, I think you're good to do the animal thing right now. Nicely done. So, shall we meet some of the other animals? Yeah? Yeah? All right. Who's first on our list, I wonder? <gasps> Put your heels together and waddle along. Go, crow, crow, crow. It's the penguin song. Oh, I love penguins. Oh, and have you seen this penguin here? Oh, so cute. <laughs> but what do they say? So put your heels together. Do you know where your heels are? Yes. Oh, I think I remember. Hold on. Here's one heel. Here's another heel. So heels must be there. <laughs> and then what do they say? Waddle, waddle along. All right, so let's waddle. After three, yeah? After three. One, two, three. Waddle along, waddle along. Waddle, 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 waddle along. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> you can probably do that on your feet. I haven't got a lot of room here. Um, but, mums and dads, if you want to do it sitting down, it's excellent core strength training. Yay! There we are. That's one for Joe Wicks for you. But, what else do we do? Because it was a penguin song, wasn't it? So what do we need to do? That's right, we need to go crow, 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 crow. <laughs> yes, nicely done. It's like looking at a whole Antarctic full of penguins there. <laughs> and I think you were the best. Yes. No, not you, Mrs. Jenkins. Sit down. No, that's right, Mrs. Jenkins is a lovely lady. <laughs> but who's next, I wonder? Let's find out. High-stepping knees and a feathers that bounce. Flim-flam flutter to the ostrich flounce. Oh, that's a great word. Do you know what a flounce is? Have you ever tried doing a flounce? Well, let me show you. A flounce, thank you very much, Peregrine, is this flounce. 
Try that again. After three, one, two, three, flounce. So, I think we can all do an ostrich flounce now. After three, ready? One, two, flounce! Flounce, 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 flounce. But there was something else as well, wasn't there? Yes, high stepping knees. That's the one. Do you know where your knees are? I know where my knees are. They're here! All right, so ready? High stepping knees after three. One, two, two and a half. Ah. <laughs> three, high stepping knees, high stepping knees, high. These are stepping knees and they are stepping high knees. They are high stepping knees. <laughs> yes, that's the way to do it. Really well done. Have you done this before? Are you secretly ostriches? No, don't be silly. Of course you're not, are you? No, I'm just being silly. Alright, next. Just like a snake, you can slither along with a hiss and a wriggle. You can sing this song. <gasps> can you all slither and slide and hiss like snakes? Let's see your best snakes, shall we? After three. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, well done. You have some really excellent snakes going on here, my friends. <laughs> well, shall we move on to the next one? Shall we? All right, let's see who we have. <gasps> this might be my favorite. Shh, don't tell anyone. Jive and jiggle, just don't stop. Jump and wiggle. There it is, it is there. I spotted it, I'm sorry. I got a little bit lost there myself. Jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Come on, jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Everybody monkey! <laughs> oh, I do enjoy monkeys. And I'm sure there are quite a few cheeky little monkeys at home, aren't there? Are you a cheeky little monkey? Yes, you are. Especially you, Mrs Jenkins. I've seen you on the monkey bars before. Mmm. <laughs> really well done. Shall we be monkeys once more? Once more? Yeah, why not? Okay, everybody do the monkey bop after three. One, two, three! <laughs> Very well done. All right, all right. I think we're ready for the next one. Are you? All right, let's do it. Next page. Kick those legs like the donkeys do. Then go <laughs> two. <laughs> More leg kicking. We know we can do this. All right, so you ready? Like the donkeys do. After three. One, two, three. Kick like a donkey. Kick like a donkey. <laughs> Kick it like a donkey do. <laughs> Oh, wow. you are so full of energy. Are you sure you're meant to be going to bed now? Well, let's hope so, because otherwise you might be in for a very, very energetic evening. <laughs> Next one. I wonder what this could be. Is it a mouse? No, no, it can't be a mouse. That's a mouse. Is it a cat? No, no. Oh, OK, sorry. No, it's not a cat. Um, uh, It's a... Uh, so this might tell us, let's find out. Wave one arm, stomp your feet, trudge along to the elephant beat. Of course, it's an elephant. How could I forget? <laughs> Silly. Somebody did ask us to do again? One arm, and then stomp your feet. That doesn't make an elephant sound, does it? That just makes how an elephant moves. Can you make an elephant sound? Yeah, like this. How 
how about we try that with the arm? Yeah? You ready? Okay, let's do it. After three, one, two, three, arms. <laughs> Uh, uh. Ooh, that's, that's, um, I'll, I'll have to sort that later. Ugh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. Yeah, I'm not sorry at all. Shh, don't tell them. Alright, so that's our friend, the elephant. But who's next, I wonder? Let's see. Ooh. I wonder what this is. Move one leg. Now, move two. Move the way that lizards do. Yes, it's a lizard. Oh, I do like lizards. Some people don't like lizards, but I think they're really cute. Especially this one. You see? Little smiley face there. Oh, bless. So what did it say? Move one leg, and then move two. So <gasps> Maybe we can move our hands as well. Be like hand lizards. Ready? So really stretch out those hands as far as they go, like that. And then, ready? We'll move after three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it, like little lizards. <laughs> You're very good at this, aren't you? Have you been lizards before? I think you have. Mum and Dad, have they been lizards before? Hmm, I thought so. I thought so. Well, if you haven't, you're doing very well for beginners. Really well done. Okay, next up we have... <gasps> oh, this should be fun. Let's find out. A chicken can peck. And a chicken can cluck. <laughs> <laughs> Should we all try pecking and clucking after three? Yeah, you know what to do by now. Okay, ready? After three. One, two, two and a half, and three. enjoy a good chicken. I think you do as well. I saw that. <laughs> Especially you again, Mrs. Jenkins. Really well done there in the back. Nice. Maybe, kids, next time if you turn around quick enough, maybe you'll spot Mrs. Jenkins doing it. <laughs> oh, but there's more at the bottom here. A chicken can cluck. But I think it's more fun being a duck. <gasps> a duck? How on earth would you be a duck? The duck does a waddle with its flip-flap feet. So, oh, mum and dad, this could be a difficult one. So, swing your bottom, your bottom to the quack quack beat. Oh my god! Um, right, I just I just have to check something before we carry on. Um, sorry, excuse me. Is it all right if we um, swing our bottoms? Is is that fine? Is it good? Yeah? Okay, that's excellent. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, I just have to check that because, of course, you know, with bottoms and swinging, things could go very wrong very quickly. But I think we'll try it. Okay? Mum and Dad, are you ready? Mrs. Jenkins? Yes. I thought so. All right. So everyone, up on your feet if you're not already. Mum and Dad. Mum and Dad, I am so sorry for this, but I promise you it'll be fun. All right? Let's try it. So... Swing your bottoms after one, two, three. Swing your bottom, swing, swing your bottom, go. Oh, sorry, that, that wasn't a quack, was it? Oh, but it was quacking good fun. <laughs> sorry, sorry, little little pun there. I don't even know what it means either. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so that was your ducks. Who's next, I wonder? 
grunt and groan, stomp, 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 roar and rage, it's a rhino romp. Oh my goodness, have you ever heard a rhino roar and rage? It's very ridiculous, especially when it's stomping. That's what, let's go jump straight into this one, shall we? Yeah, after one, two, three. Roar, roar, roar with the rhino romp. Yeah, it's a rhino romp. We're gonna romp like a rhino, yeah. Romp, a romp, a romp, 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 the rhino. Yes. <laughs> oh, you are very good stompers and rompers there, my friends. Really well done. <laughs> oh, I think this is the last one. Well, let's make it a good one, shall we? Yes. All right. All the cow can do is chew. Chew. Can you all chew like a cow? Yes, let's see you too. Like you've got a really big piece of chewing gum. You're chewing it all day long. Now, well, I'm sure I can do something a little bit more exciting than that, don't you? Let's find out, shall we? So let's end up with a great big... Oh, okay. I, you weren't ready for that one, were you? I think we can try that again. I think we can get a word for a really, really big moo. Yeah, the biggest moo you've ever heard in your lives. Can you do it? Sorry, couldn't, couldn't hear that. Can you do it? Okay, let's, let's try that once more, once more. Can you do the biggest moo in your lives? Oh! Okay, 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 keep some voice for the moo. Wow! Oh, nearly had my head off there. All right, let's try it again. After three, the biggest moo in the world ever. The biggest moo in the history of moo kind. Okay, you ready? You ready? One. Two. Three. <laughs> wow! That was an amazing moo! That might be the greatest moo I certainly have ever heard. What do you think, Mum and Dad? Mrs Jenkins? Oh, I think Mrs Jenkins may have oh, done herself a mischief there. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure she'll be fine. <gasps> but... Plop! <laughs> Can you see them all there? All headed home. <gasps> oh, look! There's the little mouse telling everyone it's time to go to bed. Right. Bye, um, animals! Can you say bye to the animals as well? Goodbye! Goodbye! Have a good time! Oh. And that is that, the end of our story. Did you have fun? Oh, did you? Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, that's lovely to hear. Thank you so much for that. I really enjoyed uh, having the chance to read it to you as well. And I hope that you, mum and dad, enjoyed it as well. Uh, we're gonna be sharing a few stories um, throughout uh, the time that all this is going to be happening so you do keep an eye out for any extra stories we'll be sure to tell you when it's happening but for now I do believe it's time for bed I don't know about you but I am very tired after that story are you tired yes I thought you are right well I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go to sleep right now actually and Ah, yes, here we are. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Earth, can I borrow this? Thank you. Mr. Earth is very kind to me, fair play to him. But I think it's time that we all went to bed. So from us here in this room and Wellbeing Mirtha and Mirtha Tidver Libraries, here we 
again. Ready. Oh.